Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Taharia and we've got Lucy. But don't just sit there, puppets. Come on, let's have some fun. <laughs> There's my wee lady all ready to be glued. Let's get these skaters skating. Clever girl. Okay, put your magnet underneath. Wow, is that not so exciting? <laughs> well, we've got Taharia and we've got Lucy, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Kai with Bobby. <laughs> Bobby, Hi, Hi, and Kai, pickle, <laughs> boy. <laughs> You've missed the ice skating sausage, but never mind. You can have a wee shot later on. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, Granny Murray. Kai really wants to watch the ice skating on telly later, don't you, Kai? Oh, do you like ice skating? Wow! Listen, darlings, why don't you dress Claude up as an ice skater? Hey, or maybe we could skate off over there. Oh, woo, woo. <laughs> So, what time does the ice skating start then? Eight o'clock. Oh, right, I must try and remember that. Eight o'clock, eight o'clock. No need to remember, Granny Murray. Here. Oh, an alarm clock, clever girl. It's all set to go off when the ice skating starts. Oh, great. <laughs> Nothing's impossible when you know how. There. Brilliant. Now, what time did you say the ice skating started? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. There we are. All sorted. Now, Kai won't miss the ice skating. Normal Claude. <laughs> oh, wow. It looks like you're all ready to slide off across the ice, Claude. <laughs> Give Mum a wee kiss goodbye, darling. What's this? Oh, it's Kai's favourite toy car, but it, it doesn't work anymore, does it, Kai? Oh, no, what a shame. I tell you what, I'm going to take this to work with me and I'll see if I can fix it for you. Hey, give us a kiss. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. See you in the morning. Bye. <laughs> Come on. Nothing is impossible when you know how. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now... You keep an eye on Bobby and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views I'm stepping along, I'm swinging my arms I'm singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walk in time Okay, which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, that way. To the bus depot. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Oh, hello, digger. Hello, drain. Oh, hello, lamppost. Hello, train. Hello, post box. Oh, hello, plane. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! Okay, that way, up the steps. You told me the way I go. Thank you. You showed me the way. Thanks for that. Right, what's first? That's right, I need to put on my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. Oh, oh 
look at that big patch of oil. Well, I'd better get that cleaned up before I start to clean me buses. Hi, Bobby! Oh, Mickey J! Just thought I'd slip round. <laughs> so, what's up? Well, I nearly was up in the air with that patch of oil. But actually, I came to ask you if you wanted to buy a Spanaman keyring. Oh, wow! They look great! But why are you selling them? To raise money for the school photography club's trip abroad. Oh, right. Well, they are so cool. I would love one of them. How much are they? One pound. Bargain. Right, come with me and I'll get you some money. <gasps> there you go. Thanks, Bobby. Um, Mickey J, I've heard that you're really, really good at mending things. Well, you know, not bad. Would you ever go at fixing Kai's favourite toy car for me? Well, I start to clean up that patch of oil. Sure. Well, I, I give it a go anyway. Thank you. You're my hero. <sighs> sprinkle, sprinkle, little star. <laughs> well, that should soak up the oil. I'll come and sweep it up later. So, um, have you managed to fix Kai's toy car? Uh, well, not quite. Sorry, Bobby. I have to get home. I have to get the uh, lessons ready for tomorrow. But uh, good luck with the uh, car. Bye. Bye. Kai's car's in pieces. Mind you, it's eight o'clock, so I guess you're watching the ice skating on the telly now, Kai. I love to skip in rivers and tingle, rivers and tingle by the sea. I love to skip in rivers and tingle, rivers and tingle, that's for me. Skaters are fantastic, aren't they, Kai? Would you like a wee shot of skating up and down Granny Murray's floor? Oh, brilliant! Give us a twirl! Give us a twirl! Whee! Oh, ten! <laughs> Top score! Well done, my angel. You'll have to show Mum some of those moves. I'm thinking of you, Mummy. I will fix your car, Kai, if it is the last thing I do. But there are buses to clean first. Whoa! Oh. May I have the next dance? <laughs> Hello, Raymundo. What are you up to? I'm raising money for Mickey John's school. Would you like to buy a Spanner Man? Oh, no, I just bought one of them off Mickey John. They're all different. Each one is unique. Oh. Okay, Raymundo, I will buy one off you. Soon as I've cleaned up this patch of leaky oil. I don't know where it keeps coming from. Oil be glad to wait. There you go. Right, come on. Da 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 There you go. Thank you, Raymond. My pleasure. See ya. See ya. Right, time to get on with some work. Bobby Boogie Woogies as she cleans and mops the buses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming buses, bye bye soon. Cleaning while you're dreaming, making ready while you're in. Gleaming while you're sleeping, dawn by dawn. Lining up, all shining, they'll be leaving for the day ahead. Ready to dazzle the day away, swinging to the city, looking pretty and radiant. The hot caps gleam, the paintwork shines. A river sea double decker looks so fine. The driver she drives, collecting the fares. Leaving then arriving, she will get you there. This boss is stopping from picking up and putting down. This boss is shining, it's the talk of the town. And Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under. Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder. Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes. Bobby walks the moonwalk as she robs and wipes the windows Dusting through the starlight, adding sparkle as she goes Polishing the buses, so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead oh, This oil is a right nuisance There, now I can get back to cleaning my buses 
in some oil. I know. I'm sorry about that, Tina. I keep cleaning it up and it keeps coming back. Huh. Ugh, not to worry. Now, I'm helping to raise money for the school funds. Oh, not you too. Me too. <laughs> well, I've already bought two spanner men. Oh, no, I'm not selling them. I just want to put up this poster to advertise them in one of the buses. Oh, sure. Yeah, well, that'd be fine. And while you do that, I'll clean up this patch of oil again. <laughs> oh, that's a perfect spot. <laughs> Everyone will see it there, and hopefully we'll sell out of the spanner men. <laughs> Thanks very much for that, Bobby. <laughs> Bye, Tina. <sighs> oh, I think Kai's gonna love those spanner men. Thanks, my darling. Look, they're pulled together by magnets. No, it's like magic. You hold the skater, and I'll hold the board. Ready? Put it on. That's us. Now you hold underneath. And can you make her dance? Whoa. Wow! Lovely moves. Whee, up she goes. Oh, she did a twirl. Fabulous. I bet your mum wishes she could go ice skating with us. What are you doing now, Mummy? I really want to mend your car, but I suppose I'd better leave it for a while and try again later. Better clean up the rest of that oily sand first. Oh, more oil. I don't believe it. Where is it coming from? Oh, do you know, all I want to do is fix Kai's car, clean my buses and have a quiet life. But all this leaky oil keeps getting in my way. Oh, what is going wrong? Where did the time go? At six o'clock, I dropped off Kai at Granny Murray's. The children dressed up Claude as an ice skater. I told Granny Murray that Kai wanted to watch the ice skating on telly this evening. At seven o'clock, I got to work. Mickey John popped in and slipped over on some oil on the depot floor. He was selling some special spanner men to raise money for the school. They were brilliant and made with odd bits and pieces. I bought one and asked Mickey John to mend Kai's car while I cleaned up the oil. At eight o'clock, Mickey John rushed off, leaving Kai's car in pieces. At nine o'clock, I slipped on another patch of oil on the floor. Raymond caught me and asked me to dance. He was selling spanner men too, so I bought another one. At ten o'clock, I slipped on more oil. So did Tina. It was like we were ice skating. Tina put up a poster in the bus to advertise the spanner men and I started to clean up the oil again. At 11 o'clock, I tried to mend Kai's car, but I didn't get far. And when I tried to clean the buses again, I saw more oil on the floor. Where was it coming from? And how can I stop it? Now remember, nothing is impossible when you know how. Nothing is impossible when you know how. Hmm. Hang on. What's this? An oil trail. And it's leading all the way to... <gasps> the bus! <gasps> this oil must be coming from this leaky bus. Right, well, it must need a service. OK, I need to bring a mechanic. Well, that's not impossible. And I know how. Come on, it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to be the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job Before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, it shows me how fast she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna beat that clock before the chime There, a nice clean floor and no more leaking oil, thank goodness. And guess what? I managed to fix Kai's toy using the spanner men. <laughs> wow! Look at it go. I'm 
thinking of you, Mummy. Your mum's here, Kai. Hiya, Kai. Hello, <laughs> Oh, you look like you've had a smashing time. Oh, we sure have. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thanks. Clever boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Nothing's impossible when you know how. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on. You'd better be off. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right. Come on, Twinkle. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, jumping up and turning. was really special about today. Well, the children dressed up Claude as an ice skater. Bobby told me that Kai wanted to watch the ice skating on telly later and gave me an alarm clock to remind me when to switch the telly on. Kai gave his mum his favourite car to look after, but it was broken. At eight o'clock, the alarm rang and we switched on the telly. Kai loved the ice skating and tried to skate in his socks. <laughs> he was brilliant. Later, me and Kai played an ice skating game. He fell asleep and I think he was dreaming of going skating with Bobby. In the morning, Bobby had mended his favourite toy car. Do you like fixing things? Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I love City, where the fairy box stands the blue. Time to call on Granny Ma.